Hey, shalom, shalom to all my fellow brothers and sisters out there. It's me again, Damian Powell from YeshuaSavesAll.com. Peace be to you in the name of our Father, Yahweh, and our Master, the Son of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach. So today, my fellow brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about Paul says they will believe a lie. Whom is he referring to? We're going to break down 2 Thessalonians. Okay, most are already familiar with the writings of Paul in 2 Thessalonians pertaining to the anti-Messiah, the anti-Messiah that will arise and sit in the temple. But who is it that will be deceived when he comes? Now, there are many Jews, not all, okay, because we know that there's Messianic Jews. There's one thing I want to make clear. There are many Jews, not all, who have not yet accepted Yeshua as Messiah and their Savior, okay? People are waking up every day, so some of them are coming out and, and, and accepting Yeshua as Mashiach. I pray that all do, okay? As most of them don't believe that he has already come the first time as a lamb to take away the iniquities of the world. And we know that when he does come back, He's coming as a roaring lion to destroy the enemies of Yahweh, okay? So being that they have rejected his first coming, they will be easily deceived into thinking the anti-Messiah is the true Messiah, okay? They have their own oral Torah doctrines that have led them astray from the truth to be deceived, but they aren't the only ones. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1 through 12, and the complete Jewish scriptures. But in connection with the coming of our master, Yeshua the Messiah, our gathering together to meet him, we ask you, brothers, not to be easily shaken in your thinking or anxious because of a spirit, a spoken message, or a letter supposedly from us claiming that the day of Yahweh has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for the day will not come until after the apostasy has come. And the man who separates himself from Torah has been revealed. Clearly the anti-Messiah who separates himself from the Torah. The one destined for doom. He will oppose him, um, himself to everything that people call Elohim or make an object, an object of worship. He will put himself above them all so that he will sit in the temple of Elohim and proclaim that he himself is Elohim. Don't you remember that when I was still with you, I used to tell you these things? And now you know what is restraining so that he may be revealed in his own time. For already this separating from Torah is at work secretly. But it will be secretly only until he who is restraining is out of the way. Then the one who embodies separation from the Torah will be revealed. The anti-Messiah. The one who... The one whom the master Yeshua will slay with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the esteem of his coming. When this man who avoids Torah comes, the adversary, which is Satan, will give him the power to work all kinds of false miracles, signs, and wonders. And he will be enable him to deceive even in all kinds of wicked ways, those who are headed for destruction because they would not receive the love of the truth. I want you to keep that in mind because they would not receive the love of the truth that could save them. This is why Elohim is causing them to go astray so that they will believe the lie. The result will be that all who have not believed the truth but I forsake, but I've taken their pleasure in wickedness will be condemned. So let's break this down. First, we see that Paul says in verse seven, for this separating from the Torah is at work, at work secretly. Paul clearly identifies the lawless one who separates himself from the Torah as the anti-Messiah. 
who is the one who champions the lawless doctrine of Christianity empowered by Satan. So just think of the phrase that, that we hear so often, that is being proclaimed so often. The law is done away with. The anti-Messiah is the one who separates himself from the Torah. And he's the one backed by Satan, the one who will empower him. The same doctrine, the law is done away with that Christianity preaches. Why is it done secretly? Let's take a look. Because as Genesis 3.1 tells us, is that Satan is subtle, meaning very crafty at what he does. Satan will never come to you as a grotesque, horn, pitchfork-carrying monster to lead you astray. No! He infiltrates secretly with deception that looks and sounds good on the surface, but is full of death. The tactic of separating believers from the Torah is secretly working death in the lives of those who claim to follow Yeshua because Satan has them believing that they are walking in full truth, knowing full well that they will die for their lawless behavior. Even though the Christians are walking in utter rebellion, complete disobedience to our creator, Satan has them thinking that they will be saved. Satan has given them a false sense of salvation, which is why he preaches saved by G-R-A-C-E alone. Doctrine to millions of Christians who have, who have accepted it. Because he knows that those who disobey the Torah will be cast out. Again, we have to remember that Satan was in heaven, a covering cherub. He knows what the Torah is. He knows the truth, but he's not going to obey the truth. He rebelled, which got him cast out. And he wants those, he wants believers to not obey as well. That's the whole point. Revelation 12, 9, Satan has led the whole world astray. He knows what he's doing. But now let's take a look. We know that Satan is leading people astray on purpose. Okay? And Paul is confirming this. Just as Yeshua did, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 through 20, 23. Not everyone who says to me, Master, Master, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do what my Father in heaven wants are those who do the will of my Father. And if you don't know what that is, please read Psalm chapter 40, verse 8, you'll see. On that day, many will say to me, Master, Master, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we expel demons in your name? Didn't we perform many miracles in your name? And then I will tell them to their faces. I never knew you. Get away from me, you workers of lawlessness. You who broke the Torah. You who broke the law. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 through 4. By this we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. The one who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. He says, get away from me. I never knew you. And I just explained how we know him. Okay. These are believers that Yeshua is talking to, talking to here. Those who are casting out demons in his name, prophesying in his name and doing works in his name. And he says he never knew them because they were lawless. The law is done away with as Christianity preaches. This is the secret deception of Satan that has many walking in the broad path of destruction. Let's look at another example. Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 through 17. And Yahweh Elohim took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to till it and to keep it. And Yahweh Elohim commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Our Father Yahweh says you'll die. Now, let's look at Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 through 4. Now the serpent was more subtle than all of the wild beasts that Yahweh Elohim had made. And the serpent said to the woman, Truly, has Elohim said that you shall not eat of any tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of all of the trees of the garden, 
but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Elohim has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die. So let's look at this. Yahweh gave one command saying, if you eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you will die. But Satan comes along and says, if you eat the fruit, you shall not die. Sadly, many have chosen to listen to the lies of Satan that leads to death versus the voice of Yahweh that leads to life. Satan was able to convince them to break the command, the one commandment of Yahweh by telling Eve she wouldn't die knowing full well that she would. And then Adam right after that, that they would die. Just as Satan is telling Christianity today that they can break the commandments of Yahweh and they will not die. Knowing full well that they will. Satan has infiltrated the churches and has false teachers that are posing as ministers of righteousness, preaching disobedience from the pulpit. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through 15. For they are false apostles, deceitful workers, posing as apostles, as apostles of Messiah. There is no marvel in this. For if Satan disguises himself as a Moloch, an angel of light, it is no great thing. If his ministers also pose as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Okay, so they can stand in a church behind the pulpit and preach it. Satan is telling the exact same lie he told in the garden, just repackaged in a church building. Think about that. Paul goes on to say that the anti-Messiah will deceive those who are headed for destruction because they will not receive the love of the truth. Well, what is the truth according to the scriptures that we read? Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your Torah, the law, is truth. The Torah is guidelines and instructions that our Father Yahweh to give for us to follow so that we can walk in righteousness. That's why it says your righteousness is righteousness forever. Your Torah is truth. Psalms chapter 119 verse 160. The foundation of your word is truth. And every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. Not for a little while, but forever. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3. And he humbled you and suffered you to humble and fed you with manna, which you did not know. Neither did your ancestors know. But he, that he might make you to understand that man does not live by bread alone, but every word, every word that comes from the mouth of Yahweh. John chapter 17, verse 17, Yeshua says, O Father, set them apart in your truth, the Torah, because your word is truth. The truth is Yahweh's word, which is the Torah, the law. So Paul is saying that those who are headed for destruction are those who refuse the love of the truth, which we just define by the scriptures. We let the scriptures interpret the scriptures. So those who refuse the love of the truth are those who refuse the Torah, the law. They will be deceived because they chose the lawless path. Then in verse 11, Paul says, the result is why Elohim is causing them to go astray so that they will believe the lie. Our Father Yahweh will give them over to their own perverted minds as he magnifies the wickedness that is already present within their hearts because they refuse to obey his commandments that lead to life. And being that they love lies, he will give them over to the father of lies to deceive them. John chapter 8 verse 44 through 47 
You belong to your father, Satan, and you want to carry out your father's desires. From the start, he was a murderer, and he has never stood by the truth because there is no truth in him. He's lawless. When he tells a lie, he speaks in character because he is a liar, indeed the inventor of the lie. But as for me, because I tell you the truth, you don't believe me. Which one of you can show me where I'm wrong? If I'm telling you the truth, then why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to Elohim listens to what Elohim says. The reason why you don't listen is that you don't belong to Elohim. I want you to listen to these words of Yeshua. Those who say the law is done away with are doing the will of Satan, the lawless one, and they don't belong to him. But you have a chance to repent. Every day that we wake up, we have another chance to repent and get it right with our father Yahweh. So it's not over yet. Repent. Accept Yeshua as your savior and, and walk in the commandments of Torah. So Yeshua said that whoever belongs to Elohim listens to what Elohim says. And what did our Elohim say? Leviticus chapter 18 verse 5. You shall therefore keep my commandments and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am Yahweh. Choose life or choose death. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 14 through 19. You can choose. But all the, 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 the repeated theme all through our scriptures is to keep his commandments. So are you listening to what Elohim says, which Yeshua is quoting? Then Yeshua says, because I tell you the truth, you don't believe me. Yeshua told you the commandments are not done away with. So why don't you believe him? Is it because he tells you the truth and you don't understand him as the Pharisees cannot understand them because of the hardness of their hearts? Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 in the Hebrew, Yeshua says, do not think that I've come to throw down the Torah and the prophets. On the contrary, I came to confirm. I say to you in truth that not, that not one word will be diminished from the Torah. Not one word. Yeshua said, do not even think. And even in other words, don't even let it enter into your minds that he came to do away with the Torah. Okay. He came to show us that the Torah is set apart and, and, and good and for us to walk in it just as he did. Look at 1 John chapter 2, verse 6, and you'll see. By the leading of the Ruach HaKodesh, because he leads us in the all truth, which is the Torah. So he tells us the Torah is not done away with, which is the truth. Yet when Satan, Satan speaks and says, do as thou wilt and you will not die. The lawless lie is immediately accepted as truth. Why? Same lie that he's telling. History repeats itself. And many are walking in disobedience today, which brought about the fall of mankind in the first place. Same lie being told in the garden, the same lie being told today. Just a different atmosphere, just a different setting. So when the anti-Messiah arrives on the scene, the one who separates himself from the Torah will easily deceive the lawless Christians who have, who are, have already separated themselves from Torah and walking in his lawless ways. They will believe that he is Yeshua when he is not because they have refused the love of the truth, the Torah. And that day may not be too far off. So it's time to separate yourselves from the lies of Satan, lawlessness, and walk in the truth, which is the Torah, and trusting in Yeshua HaMashiach, Revelation 14, 12. Repent and follow Yeshua completely. Hallelujah. As always, may our Father Yahweh Barak bless you in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Shalom.